Bob McEwen. What's your first memory of Gamesley? It was very strange after moving up from Manchester. We lived in a masonette, six floors up, and it was really wonderful just to walk about, open countryside, see sheep, animals. One of the first things what I did notice was how friendly everybody was. When we moved here, I couldn't afford a new phone for a few months. And the local policeman, who was called Dave Macken, was talking to him and he was asking me where it works, etc. And I told him about this. <clears throat> very, very helpful me. He gave me a number, which of the hospital needed me for overtime or anything. They rang and Mr. Mack kindly come and let me know. It was only after a few months when I was able to afford a phone that my neighbours realised that I wasn't a villain when I told them and the police was always at my house. How did you end up coming to Gamesley? Um, well, where we lived in Bradford, Manchester owned it and we put down for a transfer and um, that's how it came about. And why did you want to come up to Gamesley? Because I knew some people who lived up here from work and they were saying what a nice place it was and what a wonderful community spirit. And I still find that to this day. Now, you moved up a, a longer while after the estate was built, so not like some of the first folk that moved up here. What were the shops and facilities like when you first moved up to Gamesley? It was quite strange because there was a couple of shops in the laundrette down the bottom and a supermarket, I think it was called, Uri Faze at the time. But it was still mainly going shopping into Glossop. It was 1978 when I moved up and quite often there wasn't any buses. It was walking up and down the plough with a silver cross pram with a tray on the bottom for the shopping. Well, I think everyone was quite fit then because... Even when there was buses, most people was that used to walking. We used to walk in and out of Glossop and, you know, there were some fabulous shops in them days like Brightmoors, etc. Do you have any particular special memories of events or your time on Gamesley? Yeah, when Prince Charles got married, we had, um, on the square on Hollins, we had quite a big street party, everybody took part and... Um, you know, it was really good. Yeah, especially when Robert was born and um, I needed somebody to mind Anthony at very, very short notice. And the way the neighbours rallied round and took care of him while I rushed up to the hospital and the time I got there, Robert had already been born. In terms of Gamesley, do you have a particular sort of favourite place or a special place on the estate that holds particular memories for you or that you like to go to? I do, but it's not there. The building is still there, but unfortunately it was called the Plough. Um, a lot of us call it the Manchester Arms because the bus stops outside and we used to always go in there. But as you know, it, in the end it wasn't guest beers, it was guest landlords. It closed down and the building is now um, cleaning contractors. Do you have any other family or particular sort of friends or connections that live on Gamesley? I have no family, but I think 90% of the people on Gamesley with glasses friends because we're a great community. And what do you think of Gamesley? You know, as from any of the sort of differences as from when you first moved up to how it is now? Everybody says Gamesley's changed. The houses have not changed. They're actually probably better now than when we moved up here. Well, they are. Because, you know, a lot had flat roofs. Some of the populations change, but that happens everywhere. And um, it's still a fantastic, you know, community. And what do you think of sort of, you know, do you think there's still as many differences between sort of Glossop folk and Gamesley folk? You know, in the early days, they sometimes didn't always get on. It's not so bad now. In the early days, it was um, called us 0161ers and various other things. There was an incident in a pub in Glossop one night, but I won't go into the details of that. But I'd just finished a 16-hour shift at Ancroke's Hospital and it was all pointing at me saying, oh, he's one of them from Gamesley. Um, I give them a suitable reply, which 
I'll leave the rest to history. Now, in your time you've been a local councillor and you also had the honour of being the, the second mayor from Gamesley, the mayor of the High Peak. How did you find your time sort of as mayor? Great honour to be mayor because working at Ancoats Hospital most of my working life and Monsell, um, was always used to serving the people there, you know, that was part of your job and the job as local councillor and mayor is to serve the people. Some of the mayors in the past have got rather big headed and they forgot it's the people who put them there. Um, you know, as the mayor you're a servant of the people because they vote for you in the first place. Do you still think of yourself as a Mancunian or are you now a Glossopian or a Gamesleyan? I'd like to think of myself as a Gamesley person now because it's 40 years plus since I lived in Manchester even though I carried on working there up to retiring. <clears throat> but Gamesley's, we're originally from Manchester but over the years we've evolved and Gamesley is a separate community now, one very, very proud and very proud to be a member of.